Hello, everyone. Today, I will be talking about the wind tunnel test. The wind tunnel test consists of a bell, collimator, working section, and an impeller. Additionally, you will need a smoke machine to help see how fluid moves around the object. Put in the object you want to observe in the working section. Next, turn the wind tunnel power supply and interface on. Adjust the wind force to your liking and position your smoke machine so that the smoke will move towards the bell. As you can see, the air is flowing from the bell to the impaler, creating an illusion of the object moving towards the bell. Also, the air's movement changes depending on the surface of the object. The air movement on the top of the object is a lot more curved than the bottom. You can actually use this little quirk that fluid has for all sorts of things, namely the lift power of an airplane. What's lift power, you may ask? Lift power is a force that solid objects feel when passing through a fluid. It is responsible for lifting airplanes up into the air. Lift force in an airplane, for example, happens because of the pressure difference created by passing through a fluid between the upper and lower points of the object. This phenomenon can be explained by Bernoulli's law, which states that pressure and speed are inversely parallel to each other. For example, an object that is curved at the top and flat at the bottom will have relatively high speed at the top and low speed at the bottom. This is because the fluid on the top has to move longer distances in the same amount of time as the bottom, making it travel faster. This makes the top have low pressure and the bottom high pressure. And because pressure moves from high to low, the object will be lifted up. You can actually calculate lift force of the object that you're observing by connecting the wind tunnel test to a MBL but I'm not going to talk about that right now. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.